So in this particular skill, we uh, find our athlete again in a supine position. But we're going to use the preferred method, which is the lift and slide. So we're going to actually lift the athlete up and slide the board from underneath. Uh, this uh, minimizes as much movement as we possibly can to uh, the head and neck area. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, we have enough people that are trained to actually be able to do this skill. So this skill requires at least eight people, uh, three on each side, one person responsible for the board, and one person responsible at the head for the uh, stabilization. Again, when we find the athlete, we're going to check for uh, vital signs. Uh, see if he has any uh, breathing or cardiac issues that we would manage uh, before we uh, handle the spinal trauma. We'd want to make sure that we access and call 911. So I'm going to come in and provide my inline stabilization. Uh, we've got our other assistants that come in to be able to um, help. And what they're going to do is they're going to come from all the way up underneath uh, the athlete with their arms and make sure that they are fully secured um, under his entire body. On the count of three, I'm gonna say one, two, three, lift. And on lift, I'm going to, they're gonna lift the individual only six inches off the ground, so that way the board can come fully in and touch basically my knees. And then I'm gonna say one, two, three, down, and we're gonna lower the athlete directly onto the board. All right, does everybody understand and ready? One, two, three, lift. The board slides underneath. One, two, three, down. So that allows us to put him directly centered on the board. We can apply our straps, the shoulder, the waist, and the legs, and also secure the athlete's helmet directly to the board. Once he's secure, then he's ready to transport. In order to lift this individual, we're going to have all of our six people on either side. This allows us to lift him and actually transport. So everybody's going to grab onto the handle. They're going to get into a power position where their right or left leg is going to be up. And this allows us to completely lift the athlete up. On the count of three, we're going to lift. One, two, three, lift. And this allows us to transport the athlete to wherever we need them to go.